Uh, the study is called ARISE. It's the first randomized clinical trial assessing the impact of an FDA-approved disease-modifying therapy in subjects with radiologically isolated syndrome. And this study uh, was unique in that we randomized participants one-to-one -to, -one to receive brand name dimethofumarate, Tecfidera, or placebo. And we were fortunate enough to partner with Biogen to allow for the use of the actual compounds that were uh, applied within define and confirm. So the two pivotal dimethofumarate trials from back in the day. Now with respect to the primary outcome measure, uh, an over 80% reduction in risk for a first clinical event was observed for those that were randomized to DMF at 96 weeks. And I think the other part that's remarkable here is we also demonstrated a positive effect on MRI, having a significant reduction in the development of new and or newly enlarging T2 lesions, despite how the study was, was designed. So it was a study in which only two MRI scans were performed, one at baseline and then at the end of study at 96 weeks. Mm -hmm. Now, I think for listeners, what's really important to highlight here is that, you know, the inception of ARISE occurred somewhere around 2014. Oh, wow. And, and it, it started in early 2016. And, and following our success at Ectrum's 2022, I think it was wonderful to receive feedback from many in the field about our contribution to uh, to multiple sclerosis and our understanding of the uh, early uh, disease behavior within this uh, phase of MS. Uh, I think it's very important to highlight that we had limited options back in the day with respect to, to treatments and, and Biogen really should be credited with being that one manufacturer that uh, was brave enough to, to take this journey with us and, and really to invest in it. And in, in a time when, when our international consortium was fielding criticisms for even thinking about using, using a parentally administered drug, <laughs> we were uh, over the moon when, when we had a chance to, to use uh, Tecfidera in this study.